A dubious distinction for West Tennessee tonight. More dirty cops are busted here than anywhere else in the country. Action News 5's Nick Kenny has the story. He's on video counting cash, a bribe, investigators say. But Memphis Police Lieutenant Tim Green is only the latest officer to cross federal law. At his sentencing, Prosecutor Brian Coleman told the judge, quote, This district has more convictions for police officers in the past six years than any other district in the country. We are serious about this activity in this district. Something has to click. We clicked through our Action News 5 archives. And wouldn't you know it, there are a bunch of local cops arrested, indicted, and convicted by the feds. From police officers who robbed drug dealers to another who beat up Dwana Johnson in booking. Tap, tap, tap. The very next tap you hear may be on your shoulder. Our unofficial count of the past six years turned up 10 Memphis police officers and one Shelby County Sheriff's deputy convicted on federal charges. There are three other MPD officers awaiting trial, including Melvin Robinson, accused of trying to buy and sell cocaine while in uniform, in his patrol car, and on duty. It angers me that the hardworking men and women in blue have had their ranks tainted. While police director Tony Armstrong expressed frustration at the time of Robinson's arrest, federal prosecutors believe stiff prison sentences send an appropriate message. That's the only thing that might deter other officers from joining criminal ranks. Now, both the United States attorney and the police director declined interview requests from us today. But in the recent past, both have said publicly that dedication to weeding out corrupt officers is something that they plan to continue.